Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. Today, let me talk about Anton in Atroll and the Theatre of Cruelty. Anton in Atroll was a French playwright, poet, essayist, actor and theatre director. He was born in Marseille, France. At age 5, he suffered a near-fatal attack of meningitis the result of which remained with him for the rest of his life. Considered among the most influential figures in the evolution of modern drama theory, Antonin Atrod associated himself with surrealist writers, artists and experimental theatre groups in Paris during the 1920s. Surrealism, you know, it was an artistic and literary movement founded in Paris by André Breton with his manifesto on surrealism. It is conceived as a revolutionary mode of thought and action in politics, philosophy and psychology as well as literature and art. It was influenced by the ideas of Freud and sought to express the imagination as shown in dreams unshackled by reason or convention. Later, when political differences resulted in his break from the surrealist, he founded the theater Alfred Drary with Roy Rivigard and Robert Aaron. Arthur was against the western theater of the day. He criticized the ordered plot and scripted language his contemporaries typically use to convey ideas. Arthur recorded his ideas in works such as The Theatre of Cruelty and The Theatre and Its Double. In these works, he called for a return to the primitive and the ritualistic in drama in opposition to the realistic theatre of a dominant rationalist culture. According to him, theatre is not the place of escape but a field to face the deepest fear and the worst nightmare of the life. Atrod wanted to put the audience in the middle of the spectacle, that is his term for the play, so they would be engulfed and physically affected by it. Atrod's most noted contribution to drama theory is his theatre of cruelty. Based on ritual and fantasy, this form of theatre launched an attack on the spectator's subconscious in an attempt to release deep-rooted fears and anxieties that are normally suppressed, forcing people to view themselves and their natures without the shield of civilization. In order to shock the audience and thus evoke the necessary response, the extremes of human nature were graphically portrayed on stage. The Encyclopedia Britannica describes the theatre of cruelty as a primitive ceremonial experience intended to liberate the human subconscious and reveal man to himself. This form of theatre combined elaborate props magic tricks, piercing sound, unusual scenery, special lighting and primitive gestures. Again, plays considered examples of the theatre of cruelty usually minimized the use of language by emphasizing screams and inarticulate cries. At Rhodes play, Le Chenji, based on the works by Percy Bursch, Shelley and Stenthal, typifies Arthur's Theatre of Cruelty. The Fountain of Blood is another example of Arthur's work. Arthur's work and philosophy received due attention after his death in 1948. His ideas influenced the productions of Ron Ruiz Barrett, Rosie Grodsky, Ron Wheeler, Peter Brook and the Living Theatre as well as the work of such playwrights as Arthur Adamov and John Rennett. So, that's about Antonin Atrod and the Theatre of Cruelty. Here comes the question for you. Please do answer the question. Thank you so much for paying attention.